Welcome to module 10 of our course, a module on flexible budgeting. This is a short module as far as our course goes, and one of the more straightforward and, and intuitive modules, but it's a very powerful thing to understand, and the concept is called flexible budgeting. So we've learned in module 8 how to prepare budgets, and a big purpose of budgets, one is planning, right? You want to make a plan. You, you you don't want to run out of money until you make sure your plan is going to be uh, workable. Uh, but another function of budgets is to afterwards, you know, so I, I make a budget for the month of August, then August ends. When August is over, I look back and I say, oh, how did I do to compare to my budget? You know, if I'm just thinking of a personal budget, I go, okay, I'm going to spend $500 on groceries for my family this month. $500 is the number. Well, if after August goes by and I spend $300 on groceries, I'll say, oh, look at that. I did a good job. I saved money. Or if after August goes by, I spent $700 on groceries, I'll think, oh, I overspent. Jeez, that wasn't a good thing. So um, that is budgeting. And, and, one, and again, one of the purposes is backwards looking. Flexible budgeting says, look, we should be free to, after the fact, adjust our budget if fundamental factors changed, causing our budget to differ. So I have this friend who, um, he is a hotel manager. And his hotel is one of the, is a chain hotel, and it gives you free breakfast. Okay, so part of his role as hotel manager is to make sure that breakfast costs are under control. And so let's say every month uh, his hotel chain budgets him to spend, uh, let's just say, $1,000 for the month on breakfasts. You know, on the bagels and the, the cereal and the milk and all the stuff that gets put out uh, for customers. So $1,000 is his budget on breakfasts. Well, that's what they planned for the month. Uh, but in one month, he had a convention come to town. Kamloops is my hometown, and Kamloops has a fairly vibrant convention community. We've got a nice university in town and some convention centers. And anyway, a big convention rolled in, and they ended up mostly staying at his hotel. And that month, uh, the actual was $1,500. That's how much he had to spend on breakfast because there were so many convention guests, and they were all eating the breakfast. They all went for breakfast, and it was just costing more money than he expected. So what is a boss chastises him and his boss says hey you blew the budget on breakfast you were supposed to spend a thousand you actually spent 1500 this is highly unfavorable my friend could have used help from flexible budgeting he could have said look we had more hotel guests more of them were eating breakfast of course we went over budget this is to be expected it's not to do with my performance i was still efficient and in fact we can measure my efficiency by using flexible budgeting so flexible budgeting says look if we are um busier or less busier than we expect or if we have some event that that is catastrophic and is causing major major differences between actual and budget we might want to adjust our budget when we're evaluating the performance of our company or the performance of our employees and that's what flexible budgeting enables us to do it says look after the fact let's adjust the budget and it doesn't always have to be good news for our, our employees, as we'll see in the uh, sample questions. It can be bad news for the employees as well. Uh, and so that's what we're going to learn this module. It's an interesting and valuable topic. And the good news here is I don't think it's the most difficult topic of the semester. I think this is one of the more straightforward topics. And I have lots of experience teaching it, and students tend to do well on flexible budgeting. So I hope you like it. I hope you understand it. And uh, I've got a few uh, problems that I think will really help illustrate what flexible budgeting is all about. Stay tuned.